welcome back for another video if you guys ain't checked uh the last video it was mounting the uh door panels and these things are pretty on there they're good let's see how i close with that front seat up like that i mean the seat's a little bit non-sitting but it doesn't hang up doesn't do nothing look at that usually people they'll run screws through like here or along the bottom like man i don't believe in any of that stuff so it held up pretty good look at that I have these metal plates I'm gonna put right here, but that'll be like the final touches. But for today's video, my voice is breaking up. I sound really bad, I sound like a robot. But um, we're actually gonna take this console out and we gotta take this front plate out because I have to get to the subs that are in the back. I think I have one sub that's actually starting to blow out and I'm gonna catch it because I don't wanna be at the classics and it take a shit on the first day and I have to come back the following day and swap the sub out, sub out then mess me up from trying to jam out there and everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the extra time, swap the sub out, make sure all the subs are working good. Seeing if I need to swap any more subs out or just replace all four subs just to get it out the way. So I know this thing's guaranteed to beat, but ain't no telling with electronics because I could swap out four. And one will just give out, man. That's just how electronics works. You can never blame it on too loud, too jamming, anything. That's just electronics. It's bound to give out. So subscribe to the channel. I think with this video, we'll hit 500 subscribers. Badass. I, you know, I, I'm blessed for you guys watching the videos. Um, let's try to hit 1K before the end of the year. So me, when I build a band pass or a blow through box, whatever you guys want to call it, I always make sure I built a window so I can put the subs in because usually people will do um, build a box and then the front part of the box will be just the actual window, which I build the box and build a window on top of it. You see what I'm saying? So let me see. And I got seal tape on it. You see, I'll probably put new seal tape on it so it secures better. But look, you see, you'll never see the subs. You'll never see a sub. Look, there's my light. That's probably what's been making that crazy sound whenever I jam it. That had to have been one of the kids. That had to have been. But look, you see it. The box looks nice and pretty, but you'll never see it. I could do some plexiglass, but then I'd have to redo my console, but you see it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test these subs out and see which ones are blown. I think I swapped that back one when after Daytona because it got blown out. So I'm just gonna test the rest of these out real quick and see which one's bad and we can, the one that actually sounds a little bit fucked up, I'm gonna replace that one, no questions asked. So let's get on. So I actually just um, tested everything out and I do believe, So I'm gonna go ahead and the conclusion was the sound that I was hearing was that actual light just probably sitting in there bouncing around while the things were beating. So shout out to my kids for making me believe that thing was messed up, but um, easy fix. Now this can go back a lot easier than what I expected. And I gotta clean this up cause look, when I say this truck's for my kids, look, you can tell it's for my kids. Look at that stuff candy and gummy bears everywhere and look at the console the console is a nightmare back here because the kids right in the back they eat the popcorn and all that crazy stuff look. but oh well it's for the kids so like i say i never get too mad if they destroy anything but anybody else man we have problems i cleaned up uh i actually put the piece back on subs were good um just that light was like just jumping around everywhere so that was the sound that I was actually hearing. So I cleaned up some of the wire where the console goes and I cleaned up the, uh, the goo on the console and on the seat. And I took the tweeters out because to put the speakers in, um, the tweeters can't go in the way so I can put screws holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the console back in right now. Then put the tins in it, then put the tweeters in it and put the side panels in, put it up. And I think the back piece should be done. I just gotta go to Home Depot and get some magnets so I can hold the side pieces in finally. And I'm debating whether to put the 15 inch flip down or 
just put something like plexiglass up there to make it look cool and maybe light it up too so we'll see what happens so i think in the next 20 30 minutes the inside will be complete console is in we cleaned out all the glue on both sides man that's a horrible the tweeters back in now the side panels are going to go back in then i'm going to load that up put the ice chest back in cup holders i may get some stainless steel ones just to make it look a little bit more blingy and we're going to put the pole back up and i think the inside guys should be done so everything's going smoothly like i said i'm gonna have to give this truck a good little detail all these kids back here been hanging out when we go to the truck shows the car shows and all that stuff so gotta let them have fun a little bit and we're gonna get back to uh doing a little maintenance work getting everything done so this truck is 100 percent for the class pretty fast and <clears throat> Oh my god, my voice sucks. Pretty fast and easy, but so we've got the uh, the speakers and all that stuff put back in. Got the pull in, cleaned up all the gunk, everything. Let's go to the side. <coughs> We're gonna clean that up next. There's some stuff everywhere. Doors. I gotta go to Home Depot and buy some magnets, so those things will just get magnetized on there. It. This is a hood jammer, man. Nothing competition, nothing. This is a hood jammer. So, these door panels are already mounted good. Drop in the comments, let me know how much you think I, I dropped on all this stuff. I did a lot of, I, I did all the work myself. My dad just painted the console and the rear doors, but everything else I did it. And, um, man, this stuff was expensive, guys real expensive you see it came out fabulous i got the lights in it so with the lights man that thing's gonna glow like pretty cool you know like everything on it now um i still have to do something about that i got a 15 inch flip down that i can put in it which i probably am just to cover up the hole or i could put like some lights or a pod a speaker pod something but i don't want to put that much weight on there you see what i'm saying but the pole actually holds it up so it's not that much of a big deal you see I got um, an eight and a tweeter down there. I gotta clean up a lot of that stuff. Um, what I'm gonna do actually now is I am gonna connect my EQ that I bought, my newer one, and I think I gotta put the fuse underneath the hood just so I can listen and hear like what's blown and what's not blown. But for that, I had this Alpine in here. This is like old school. This thing's probably like 20 years old. But I did have my clear on EQ. This is the first model with the um, connector like this. So the newer one, it is over here. This is a, the newer style one. Um, same thing, um, just a little bit newer. The This one, it tends to move around and it would make like a thump, thump, thump sound, you know? So, but they upgraded it and they made this plug that's like this and so it just goes connected to it and it doesn't uh, make any of that sound so that's the power plug that we're going to be using right here this is in case you didn't have like rca outs but since we do have rcas you don't need it and like you can see it's the same thing but just newer upgrades and that one it was already um falling off it was making all kinds of sounds pops and everything and it was just due time before i had to get a new guy and I needed to get it. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it, put the fuse in the front. Then I'm gonna actually turn on the truck and see what speakers are blown, what speakers are not blown because I need to replace it. Hopefully nothing's blown. I think I do a pretty good job. Like, um, man, I jammed the hell out of this thing, but you have to know how to jam it and you know when to let it take a break because that's when stuff does messed up subscribe guys let me know what you guys think of this back wall and guys all these video the all this right here everything that i built inside this truck if you look at um the history of all my videos all the videos are on there so you can actually see the first um videos of when the truck was just like a complete bear and actually this is almost going to be my one year anniversary that i started doing youtube so this team this time last year was that when i actually took started taking youtube serious 
and when i really started working on my truck again so you guys see in the process this is what it took a whole year to do basically i still have to build a front console but i haven't done it because i'm going to replace that and and the gear shift but as i'm going learning about the racing stuff i'm learning what's good and what's not good so i'm actually going to probably get like a holly shifter or a nice brake or something so i want to and they're pretty expensive they're like four or five hundred dollars so i want to make sure i buy the right one and everything so then i can build the, the console around it and i'm gonna build a, a real nice console because i'm gonna put the switches and everything on there so it looks like perfect i hooked up the eq just really fast it's not gonna stay like that permanently um i just wanted to like get an idea of how many speakers were blown out so for one i already know Here, i'll show you guys real quick just so you guys can see how I troubleshoot stuff. Right off the bat, this amp eclipsed in and out. It's a PPI amp, it's rather old, so it was gonna give out sooner or later, which is fine, you know, cause we're gonna upgrade that, which that amp is connected to all the eights in the truck, which includes the eights on the doors and the eights back here. And I gotta say that amp is probably pushing out at least like, like 800 to 1000 watts at the most, at the most to those speakers which is good and everything but we are gonna go like it looks like a rat nest back here but this stays open a little bit more than the um um little window okay so this amp the ppi it's a four channel it's actually a five channel it's actually 440 watts so that's not even nothing really on all the eights so we are going to actually upgrade that amp and we are going to put it on this JL Audio HD amp, which one? This one is the uh, 600 slash four, but that's like true watts, guys. You know, and that's real deal power. That amp alone is probably like what, like eight, nine hundred dollars. So that's going to go on all the eights. So that's going to give it the extra boost that we need. Okay, so then that's going to take care of that. Um, I am going to actually just go over all the speakers. Like these wires, I already know they're pretty good because um, I did them the other day but I'm actually going to go a little bit and take out these and make sure the mounts and everything's good inside and just make sure there's no wires touching because it clips so it acts like it wants to work but it doesn't want to work if that makes sense so we're just going to go ahead and take out these speakers just to you know um, exclude the idea that there's probably something grounding out in there a wire is probably loose, barely touching or touching wire or metal or something like that. So we're going to, you know, take that out just so we can get an idea. So then I had a, I powered up everything and make and try to see what's all blown. So we got one blown tweeter. We got one blown 10. We have another blown tweeter. We have another blown tweeter. We have a blown 10 down there. We have a blown tweeter over there. And all these tins right here are like brand new so i already know they're they're good um this door seems to be fine and this door seems to be fine the tweeters work there it's just whatever it has the green tape on it that's what's messed up so all the tens are gonna actually get the tens right now are actually ran on that jail audio that i showed you guys the 600 so it only has 600 watts to it so we're gonna put that on the eights but on the tens, we actually got that tear amp that I was showing you guys. Let me see if I can get it real quick. There's a lot of mess going on here, but we're trying to get it done so we can clean everything up. So we have this this amp right here. That's the 3000.1. We're gonna put all the tens on this amp to really wake those guys up. And those eights on that jail lamp is gonna get woken up so much. So that's gonna be on that. My kicker audio A50.4. That thing's not going nowhere. It's still on and everything it's either base blockers that are blown or the coils but you see these tweeters you can just replace the coils so that's pretty cool so i'm not really worried about that we do need to replace all those tens that are blown out let me see how many is it again so it's just basically just two tens that are just blown out which is not that bad in my head when i was just like sounding them out i was like man there's a lot of tens so i need to get them uh swapped out so that's done so pretty much the whole system's all buckled up it's just a matter of just swapping out speakers now and swapping out amps but so for me to be able to get over here and get all these amps out i'm going to need a skew driver so i'm going to need to go to lowe's later on today and i'm going to have to buy a skew driver so i can get these out so it's not a big issue then i'm actually going to clean all this stuff up and make it all like official and make it look really nice so i can track down stuff this is what's 
I had took a lot of this apart one time when the system was like not acting up. Well, it was acting up and I needed to like hurry up and uh, troubleshoot. So I just went ahead and uh, like the last time when we went to the beach and never took it out. Um, I needed troubleshoot. So I took a lot of stuff down out like the zip ties and all that stuff. And it made it look nasty like that. So, so don't mind the, the setup right now. We're going to fix it up and get it up to par. These batteries right here are the truth. They're little small 12 volts. Those are really awesome. I haven't had one issue with them. And that pretty much concludes today's. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up. I'm not gonna put this panel in just yet because I actually am gonna do underneath speakers to really wake this thing up. Cause I'm telling you man, classics man, you gotta come hard. So, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to, you know, come stupid hard and let these, these people know, man, we out here, so. Lights are done, music's done. We need to just swap out the amps. Um, we can probably just knock, try to knock that out tomorrow. If I can, for some reason, try to get all the tens and tweeters and everything by tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and swap them out, you know, why not? And um, get on the ball. So then after that, we just gotta like clean up the truck and stuff like that. So we are actually doing pretty good. We're doing better than what I expected. You know, Florida Classics, we are gonna come down there and we're gonna make a little baby statement down there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I think when this video drops, we are actually going to be at the 500 mark. I may drop these two videos in one in one shot, or maybe a uh, video uh, today of the of the other ones. And this video will actually come out the day after that video. So go ahead and subscribe, guys. Like I said, Florida Classics is 11 days away. You see, we're trying to get right, and trying to buckle up. Still need to put the new tires on. The truck already burns out, so we're straight with that. I don't even know how to mess with it. And then, uh, yeah, man. You know, then wait for those uh, Florida Classic blogs. And uh, we're going to have a hell of a time out there, guys. So subscribe, man. Let me know what you guys think so far. Um, if you guys any got any questions of anything, feel free to comment down below. Follow me on Instagram. Do all that stuff, man, because I'm here to help you guys. At some point, I wish someone would have helped me when I was starting to learn stuff. And I actually did get the help once I started working at a car shop. So anything I can do for you guys, let me know. You know, comment down below. Um, like I said, Instagram's Mouse X Trap right there. Look. And subscribe, man. Thank you guys so much for watching the videos. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.